again and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur In a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. All right, guys, so we decided to uh, check the road stuff first, um, give the duck hunters a little bit of time. We got some colonies in these tubes here, which is just a phenomenal location. Got our first rat. Just a little guy, but check the other two in here too, because I put three in each of these. bigger one. Nothing in the other two, but three rats out of two tubes. It's a start, guys. So we just caught the rats over there in the tube. Not 20 yards from us. We got some baited sets out here. I've had good success with this in the past. One of them has nothing. But we come over here and we got a rat. And all I'm using is that bracket that you can see. There's a trap bracket, a clip, and I put some uh, high quality cherry lure, lure on that. Um, I think they call it a muskrat number five. Um, Bruce Rhodes with backwater baits carries that. I've had good luck with that in ponds in the past. And it looks like we're going to catch a few with this up here. So we're going to walk out here and check some huts and then get on the marsh. That's what I'm talking about. Three and three. Six rats. Right here, just going from marsh to marsh, guys. Hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. First spot on the marsh. Not a big rat on that one. <laughs> nice big rat yeah. on that one. Two for two, baby. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be great, dude. Yeah, it's looking good already. Get that one set back where it was. That one set right back where it was. We're ready to roll. <laughs> Can't beat that. Two right off the bat. This is one of the most exciting things I've ever done, guys. This is so cool. Everywhere we go.
Yes, you guys, I don't wear gloves. I hate gloves. I bought a pair of gauntlets at Nationals and I tried them. I don't like them. I can't feel. I need to be able to feel my hands. I'm just setting that one right in there. Nice rest. Show them the pile, too. We're pounding them up. We're gonna have to take another bucket. Hey, anyway, should have brought a few more buckets. We are. Obviously, averaging 1.7 already. This one had a 12 stop. We got this bucket cranked. Uh, learning curve of uh, Tucker Competition Day. A smaller shafted boat would work great. Um, as far as my end goes, maybe stick in one trap per pole. So that way I don't have the bow of the boat in between trying to mess with it so far. Uh, other than that, this is awesome. Yeah, you can see the weather's kind of tough, misty, kind of rough. But uh, we're hammering the mushrooms, guys. This is awesome. This is a perfect spot, guys, when I talk about the ramp of the muskrat hut. You can see this is plain as day, the ramp. These ramps are the perfect spot. It's the natural spot for them. We're not able to maneuver the boat into them perfectly. Like this is a very open hut compared to some of the ones we're setting on. But all I'm doing is taking that one and a half. Just kind of giving a little landing down here. And I really don't even care if these are out of the water. It is. We set a lot of these out of the water yesterday and they're still producing. And then this other one, we simply made a pocket basically on the side of the hut. Came over here, made a little pocket and set it there. I think uh, the hardest learning curve for me now, now I think about it a little more, is how to set on floating vegetation. It's very difficult. You put too much on it, you know, underneath, and maybe the, the trap will want to fall off and slide off. Uh, some of these, you know, I don't have a problem with being out of the water, but I've noticed some of the times we hit this with the boat and it submerges stuff. You make a set, you back off, and it floats up higher. What looked like a landing ramp or something is now out of the water, not inviting to climb on. So, definitely a learning curve. We're figuring it out. Uh, Hoover can show them the pile of rats we got here. We, uh, we're stacking them up. Um, some really good ones, some smaller ones, but we've got a, getting a boatload. So uh, we're right at halfway. We're going to the next one, which is 138. We had 75 locations set. So 138 is the exact halfway. Uh, I don't want to jinx myself, but this keeps going. We're gonna have 100 today pretty easily. So we'll get down the road and uh, see what happens. We might want to set a few more today. Something weird too, the weather here, we've already found probably 10 or 12 huts that we've drove past that I have no idea why we didn't set them yesterday. Whether that was due to it being sunny and the reflection off the reeds, whether the, the precipitation we got last night knocked it down a little bit more, or whether we're just being more observant, I have no idea. But it's a learning curve, we're having a blast, it's a great time, uh, we're gonna get down the road. Well, this, is, this has been crazy. Earlier we caught a muskrat by the head. Today, or now, we got one in the foot and by the tail, the other one. That's pretty wild. I've heard of it happening, but I've never seen it. That's good. These are part of the areas I like. We just got one right back there, Hoover can show you. We just set on that one, and now we're pulled up to the second one, and we've got two more. Literally, 
one right after another. Oh. Another double. We started off really strong with doubles. Uh, man, I thought we were going to break 100 today easily. Um, then we kind of tapered off. We hit kind of a dry spell. I had a few misses. You know, but that's part of it. That's trapping. So we got eight more locations checked. Uh, the rain hit pretty good here for a little bit, but we're kind of getting past that now. I hope, anyway. Um, got eight more locations, and we're going to skin a few, and then uh, get them in the freezer. That's the number one thing tonight. So, First check of this has been awesome. I did not expect to do as well as we are. Uh, I was hoping to, but you just never know. Uh, doing something I've never done before. You just never know what to expect with this. Uh, it's just so surreal to be able to do this finally. So we can show you our uh, mountain. Not sure what we got, but uh, yeah, we need more room. Yeah, it's, it's grown a lot. So we'll get this wrapped up and probably do a show at the dock and see how we're doing. Well, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. Uh, <laughs> Almost forgot to do the, the first day video. Um, I'm starting to cut them up and process them now to get them ready for the freezer. Uh, but we ended up with 114 muskrats. Uh, damn good first day. I am very happy with that for considering we've only got 170 ish traps out. Uh, really good day. I know things are going to change. They're going to die on us a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have to keep moving and keep finding more locations. Uh, might even have to go to another marsh here at some point. But um, good day. A long day. We kind of got uh, sidetracked here. Um, we checked our road stuff this morning. Give the duck hunters some time. You know, try to respect them. Uh, got out here and we didn't even get pulled in yet. My competition pulled in and the, the local CO. Uh, great time. Great conversation. Um, it's really cool to be in a place that, you know, you've never been and to have the people around here even the duck hunters have been great uh very welcoming so it's pretty awesome uh that was one of my big concerns you know you go to a new area or something that you know you might have a few locals that really don't care for you being in the area but uh everything's been great 114 first day very happy with it like i said we just we started to uh started to process them <laughs> a little bit because I'm just throwing them on the carcass, cutting the tails off, throwing them in the freezer for now. I'll mess with all this when I get home. I just don't have the time to mess with it now. 114, we got late. You know, it's 315 now, 320. Um, it, rain's going to be hitting here pretty good, and we just don't have a good place to do this at. So uh, tomorrow, you know, if we can get done at 1 o'clock or so, get a few more sets out, maybe we'll have time to do some real skinning. I might save back like 20 of these to mess with tonight. But other than that, guys, great first day. Um, couldn't ask for anything better right now. Me and Hoover having a blast. It's just, it's so fun. Dream trip come true. Could not ask for anything more.